way. Yep, yep, yep. Torrential downpours and flooding. Stay inside and crap kind of day. Okay, hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. It's a nasty, rainy day today. Um, so yesterday I was working on altering these business envelopes uh, to use as signatures, and then I also went ahead and altered this little booklet. Um, I really I did this off camera, but I did this the very last thing after I altered the envelopes. I added the stencil and the homemade uh, modeling paste to that and just love how it turned out. I like how the colors of the original printed uh, thing were uh, showing through a little bit. It just kind of adds a lot of layers. So that's kind of fun. I'm thinking about doing some stamping on these pages because they're just really too plain but I mean really it's not super necessary once you start adding things um, they'll be covered up anyway but let me turn this light on it's a little too dark today with the rain um, but yeah uh, so today I think I'm going to I'm not loving the fact that this is uh, the background is so plain but I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it that way or not. I may go ahead and leave it there. Um, so these were uh, done on both sides. I really like the way that that turned out and adds some really yummy texture. <clears throat> So that's going to be one signature there. that. Now, um, for this, I am going to, I don't want to sew through my actual cover, so what I'm going to do is do a hidden signature, and for that, I am going to take, oh, do, 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 do. give me just a second. Okay, so I'm going to take this uh, piece of junk mail here. And I am going to cut it down. This is just like a regular business cardstock, um, business mailer. It's like a heavy cardstock, so I'm just going to glue two of these together.
Alrighty then. So now I have all my funky little, funky little tags. I think I might cut this one off and put a piece of um, this stuff on there. But uh, I kind of like how that one just kind of hangs out there all on its own. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and replace that one because I don't like that black. There's that. Okay, so pretty cool so far. Got all the tags in there. Sure. I think the next thing is probably just to start filling it up, I guess. Um, but it's together for now. And I'm thinking about going in uh, with some, with an old book page uh, and cutting letter words out of this and putting out my tags and things. So I'm uh, just kind of reading through these uh, old quotes and things from this book. I don't even know what this book was. I just found part of a book at Goodwill Outlet one day. Um, but this one is, the title of this paragraph is Small Courtesies. And I think I'm going to use that as the title of my book. Put that on the spine. But then it says, In all the affairs of life, social as well as political, courtesies of a small and trivial character are the ones which strike deepest to the grateful and appreciating heart. Henry Clay. Um, well, if that isn't just the most true statement ever, um, it, it is kind of surprising sometimes how the smallest kindness can, uh, can mean the most to... Uh, people and what strike the most to people so that is very true so be kind wherever you can um, this one I love this one I'm gonna put this on one of my um, tags I think it says um, it should be joy to hold a candle to another it will not waste our own light to impart it. Um, yeah, that's true too. <laughs> that's kind of how I feel about, um, you know, inspiration online, uh, art inspiration and, you know, people sharing what they know. It's not, it's not taking away from what you know. It's not taking away from your creativity to share it. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty cool there. I like that. I'm going to save that one as well.
I like that. That's cute. I think I'm going to uh, put this. On the inside, uh, this says, The power of adaptation to high and low, learned and ignorant, sad and frivolous is no mean gift. So I'm going to put that in here because this whole challenge is about adaptation, really. Uh, using what you've got and, uh, you know, well, the challenge is to use up, you know, your junk to use and make an actual junk journal. Uh, but I have challenged myself to do the same only to you know change things up and not make it look like a junk journal like I want to elevate the junk to something else and I think that's a, a fun fun thing to do so I'm using all junk but I want it to look like it's not <laughs> you know This one is being a pain. Ah. Okay, I think that one's done, and then it has room for on the back for journaling if I want to. Uh, so pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. I'm going to be going through and finding quotes for the rest of the um, for the rest of these uh, 
tags. Um, the front of the tag will have a quote and the back of the tag will be blank for journaling. Um, you know, this, I'm just going to leave this like it is on who has won. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. I hope everybody's having a good time uh, creating and trying not to worry. Uh, thank you to April over at Pink Oddbird for hosting this challenge. So, this was really fun to do. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!